So for the next part of our process, we're gonna go ahead and smooth out the surface of our clay. We are gonna roll a few coils to attach onto the inside of the mug, hopefully, and also uh, create a thicker coil for the handle here and create additional smaller coil to create some extra clay where we're attaching it. Now, some of you all may have not had an opportunity to smooth out the surface of your clay cylinder. So see how my, the surface of my, my cylinder closest to the lid here, or sorry, the lip of it, um, needs a little bit of TLC. It just needs me to kind of take a little bit of water on my finger, maybe even just my finger and smooth it out. Remember, anytime you're smoothing out the surface, you're looking for lumps, bumps, imperfections, like little pit marks, kind of like this. Anytime you're smoothing it out on the outside, you do need to support on the inside with your other hand, okay? Otherwise, you're just gonna be pushing the clay inward. So do this all the way around. You can see the impact that this has on the exterior of my mug just by taking a moment to smooth out cracks and so on and so forth. Okay, so pretend I did that all the way around. You can see what that surface looks like. I'm gonna set this aside at this point. Now I've given you guys a little bit of extra clay and what I would like to have happen is for us to roll a few uh, thin coils. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm also, let me get another small piece of clay here. Here we go. Okay, this will be another thin strand or coil of clay, and then this I can go ahead and form into a handle. I'll probably trim it down just a little bit um, just to kind of get it going here. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna create a few thin coils. These are probably pencil thickness or thinner. And how I'm gonna do this is when you're rolling a coil, you're rolling a thin strand of clay. I am going to stiffen my palm and also my uh, fingers here, and I'm gonna roll it from the center outward, okay? The goal with this is to create a coil of even thickness, all right? So we don't want it to be thick in one area, thin in another area. And the best way to do that is roll from the center out, okay? It's kind of hard to do on camera with the way my camera is positioned, so I apologize in advance for this. So right now, this is a little bit um, too thick for me. I do want it to be a little bit thinner. If as you're rolling this, uh, your coil starts to crack and break, you can add a little bit of water to it, keyword being a little bit. And just a reminder, the more you handle your clay, the more it's going to dry out and crack and break, okay? So we do, we wanna handle it and form things with it, but we don't wanna overhandle it, okay? Cause that's when you have things that crack and break. So this is my one coil. This is a little bit thinner, I believe, than my um, width of a pencil. So this is perfect for to help me attach stuff. So I'm gonna set this aside. And at this point, what I'm going to do is take, oops, sorry, take this extra piece of clay here and I'm going to form this into a handle. So it's kind of a chunk of clay. I'm gonna kind of pinch it together like so and form this into a coil that is thicker, okay? And again, I'm keeping my hand stiff, rolling from the center outward. And I'm gonna roll it longer than I think I will need it, okay? And right now I have this, this is kind of the thickness of it for my handle. I'm not exactly sure exactly what I would call this. It's almost like a thumb width, honestly. So that's kind of the coil for the handle. And again, this is way longer than I think I will need it, okay? Now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to attach um, score slip and smooth a little bit of that coil, the small one, on the inside and make it disappear. This is just to make sure that the bottom is sealed on. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Uh, this is about as much as I will need. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just break it with my finger. That's perfect. All right, and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to scratch it, create those score marks. I'm gonna add this also on the inside where I wanna attach it. I wanna attach it right where that corner is at the bottom. So I'm gonna use my fork to do that. 
And again, I apologize for this angle. Uh, okay, at this point I'm gonna add, oops, sorry, I'm gonna add a little bit of water in my finger. I'm gonna add a little bit of water on the inside as well all the way around. And then I am going to shove this inside. I'm gonna tilt this for me, uh, toward me so I can see it and then I'll share with you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to try and press this down. If yours happens to break just like mine did, that's fine, you can do it in sections. All right, and then once your sections are added, you are gonna smooth over it um, with your green clay tool, okay? So note, um, as I press it in the bottom, I'm trying to support it with my hand on the outside. All right, now I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I can't really get my green clay tool in here as well as I should to smooth out that seam. So what I'm going to do is actually just use my fingers. So this is what I have so far. I don't know if y'all can see it, um, but I have the coil kind of smushed in there. It's still separated from that, um, the clay that makes up my cylinder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of my fingers and pull it so that it's smoothed into that seam. And again, I'm pulling it, but I'm supporting it. Look where I'm supporting it. I'm supporting it with my hand on the outside as I push it into that small crack, kind of where the bottom joins, whoops, the bottom joins the side. Okay. And so at this point, this is what I have something that looks like this on the outside. It's not perfect, um, but you could go ahead and at this point, continue smoothing it into the surface. I also find the back of my fork is a really great tool to use for smoothing. So that's actually easier for me to get in there with to smooth that out, okay? Um, at this point, if the bottom of your cylinder has been misshapen, you can also use uh, one hand inside and the palm of your hand to support to fix that edge if you need to. Okay, kind of like this. At this point in time, what I'm going to go ahead and do is add the handle on the side. Okay, now um, your handle, I have this longer than I think I will need it. So I have it like this. I always like to make my handle uh, for my mugs a little bit, stick out a little bit further because I like to actually stick my, um, my hand through it like while I'm holding it. So I am going to make it pop out a little bit more. Okay, so kind of like more like this, I guess. You can decide how you